Well, it's episode 5, and I think I already have brain damage. Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Rags the Champion. So, we actually got a lot done last time, but I have a feeling... Uh, this is before I've edited the previous episode, by the way, so I'm not sure, but... I feel like last episode was a little short. Yeah, I was completely wrong about that. It, it wasn't short at all. It, it was kind of, you know, about a f an hour long. I don't know. It, it felt short to me, but... Uh... Here's the goal for today. I want to reach this tier if possible. We're definitely going to get this unlocked, but I would like to make it here. Let's see what islands. Oh, Razor Cliff and Twilight. I had a feeling. And Paradox. But, um... Yeah, I kind of want to get here if possible. It's a lot of XP, but we do have some bounties going that I just put on, so... That's going to help. But let's see, um, I'm kind of trying to think what to do right now. You know what? I know what we're going to do. We're going to go to... We're going to go to Undervald. And we're going to grind out a bit. Because uh, we need to kill some Riftstalkers, which I could go here for that. Problem being, there's Frost Behemoths here. And I'm using a Frost build, and I don't really feel like switching because Frost Wolf weapons are amazing. And plus, Koshai is here. Riftstalker is here. Uh, but, but really, it's about it. I want to grind out these two behemoths. We have to kill a few of these, but I really want to grind out some Koshai stuff. Because Koshai gear is going to be really, really valuable. So, no more delaying. Let's go ahead and just get into this. I'm going to go ahead and queue for Undervald. And we're going to get the grinding underway. Alright, here we are on Undervald Defile. And there's a care back here. The, ooh, he's actually already at half health, that's not bad. I'm kind of wondering what he's going to do, though. First fight of the day. I actually just woke up a little bit ago, so, like, I'm a, I'm a little drowsy still. But it was the first time I actually slept good in a while, so, uh... We should be a little better. Oh, that did hit me. That sucks. God, no. Let's see if I can't get the stagger here. Well, that works too. There we go, we got the stagger, and, well, he's dead. Nice. Uh, I think mainly what I'm going to do is actually do my usual thing, and just run around, like, the whole map, and just slay whatever's in the way. Best for our XP, and good for parts overall, because, oh man, we need a lot of parts. Come here, Jurassic. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yep. Well, I'm fine. And now the main attraction here. Well, one of the main attractions. Good old Koshai. Now, these guys are probably going to follow, but I'm going to see if I can't bait out this uh, interrupt that I'm totally going to miss. Come on. Do the interrupt full move. Let's go. There it is. Oh, wow. I actually hit it. You know, that's a good sign. The only problem is, I think, he, ow, he's tanky, so. He might take a minute to kill, and I, do. I just realized, I'm gonna need to break his tail if possible. Because his tail's actually the part that is mainly needed for his armor and stuff. So, I kind of want to get the stagger and then go for his tail, but he just does not want to stagger. Maybe this will stagger him. Now the Endless attacking his weird tail hitbox. Ooh, him doing that's actually nice, because I can actually hit his tail that way. Looks like this guy might be going for tail too? I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, Koshai. Honestly, I'm okay if you heal. Give me more chance to break your tail. looking weed. Alright. Let's 
There we go, there goes the tail. But he will regrow it back, and I can actually break this again, maybe. I think I also do need his antlers, though, too. Well, that hit nothing. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I don't quite do enough damage to uh, break him out of that <laughs> easily. So since we got one tail break already, I'm going to go for his antlers now. No, I don't have four, but it's okay. Oh, never mind. It hit the rock anyway, so that's cool. The ink slaps. Please fix that. That's been a problem since 1.5. I'm so sick and tired of the chain blades randomly hitting the air above the behemoth instead of the actual behemoth itself. It's a really cruddy uh, bug in the game. Uh, dude, he is bugging everywhere. No, he's not going to. Okay. Oh, we did get a shock proc on him, though. Dagger. I doubt I'm gonna get the tail one more time though. I am going for it, but don't think I'll be able to break it another time. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, but we have a Rift Stalker up here. Oh, and he's already like angry. All right, more Behemoth Mastery too. All right, let's do this. weird using Ice Spore and I, I never really use it. And it's not even that's bad. Ice Spore is honestly pretty good. It's just I typically use like DPS things like Discipline or Revenant or uh, Bastion for fun. Bastion's really fun. Oh, and we have an Aether Search that has also spawned, but kind of want to get rid of him before we uh, do that. I think I need to kill three Rift Stalkers actually, now that I think about it. Break. I think I need limbs off him though. There we go. I know I eventually will need his tail, but I'm not too worried about that right now because I'm not actually after Rift Stalker stuff. Never mind, there's the tail anyway. Ooh, and the event has spawned something that we actually have. Well. Our weapon has advantage over, but he's going to hit us hard, because I'm actually wearing three pieces of ice armor, or frost, so, um, yeah, that sucks. Um, he can probably one-shot me. I don't know if my shields will even matter that much. Chest spawn here? No. Dang. Out of the way, though. Looks like a lot of us are coming up here. Emmermane, honey, what are you doing? I don't know how that hit him. How mine hit him. Dude, really? Really? <laughs> That's frustrating. There we go. Think poison, man. Ugh. I don't like the Poison Blood modifier at all. It's so dumb. Okay, all my Chain Slams are missing now. That's absolutely hot. We love that. Please let me out. Okay. Alright, we didn't get hit that whole time. Unless you want to count the Poison. Granted, none of my chain slams hit either, so, uh, well, except for the first. No, I think they all missed. Dang. 
The tragedy of being a ch Chainblade player, huh? Maybe I should have started with Sword. Oh well. Can't win them all, but I would like to win at least a couple of them, you know? <laughs> You don't. All right, hit the air again, because why not? Man, if the air was an enemy in this game, I would be a menace against it, because I can seem to only hit the air with chain plates. At least Karabak's health pool is really small, so he's kind of melting. Yeah, there he goes. All right, what's next? Rockfall, Scarn, and Fenroar. I really don't like Fenroar. No, you don't, Rockfall. Help him with the rock fall because he can be a pain. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here and work on rock fall. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Alright, rock fall scarns out of the way. Now, oh, okay, guess I'm flying now. Like, <laughs> you don't. Fenroar, man, I wish he would have been better. Everything they could have fixed about the Spore Shock and Remain fight, they just didn't. They made the things that we didn't like worse. Although his animations are good, well, most of them are good. But, I don't know, man. I just don't like Fenroar, and his, his weapon and unique effect on that weapon are just kind of weird. Like, it doesn't really work. I don't know. I just don't like the way it plays out. So, I stay far away from Fenor stuff. Not to mention his armor set might be the worst armor set in the whole entire game. So, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> anyway. That's an island event out the way. Lots of parts from that. Oh, including some of our wrist stalker parts from the other fight. Cool, cool. Another rumor, three cell cores, 40 combat merits. Oh, lots of cores, actually. Very, very nice. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep grinding then. And, uh... I uh, guess we'll see what we can't do here. Just, there's just a lot to do. It's kind of overwhelming, but yeah, I don't really have a plan for today. It's more just kind of solid grinding, and that's about it. And getting Koshai Tails. <laughs> Need the Koshai Tails. Alright, while we have a second, I'm actually going to go ahead and check our mastery levels and see kind of what's going on. Okay, so we're actually at rank 17 right now. And that's 17 out of 50. We're at 16 Behemoth Mastery. Which, if I remember right, I think this goes up to 50 as well. Um, I don't know if I've actually mentioned that, uh, now I think about it. Um, a few days ago, we actually added a couple challenges. And what, a couple of them being, uh, to get... No, we are talking about Slayer Rank 50. But Behemoth Mastery 50. And also getting... Max Behemoth Mastery on all Legendary Behemoths. Which, uh, that's gonna be fun. It won't be extremely hard, it's just gonna be kinda tedious, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I just kinda wanna look at this stuff, too. Okay. Uh, we get lots of combat merits for all this stuff. We're gonna start working on other weapons after our first Reforge, probably. Um... But, yeah, that's kind of where we're sitting on mastery levels right now. 
but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this Koshai, go for the Tails again. Um, and after I kill two more Rift Stalkers, I think that's whenever we'll leave. Okay, I was gonna fight this Koshai, but there's a Rift Stalker over there. Well, I think most of us are over here at the uh, Koshai anyway, so I think I'll just go ahead and stay here and fight him. And then uh, go for Rift Stalker. Alright, time to go hunt Rift Stalker again. It looks like people are already fighting him, which is concerning though. But we will grab this. It kind of seems like the uh, server has picked back up again and is actually uh, not lagging anymore. For now. The Dauntless does uh, lag a lot here and there. Servers aren't exactly the strong point of this game. <laughs> Okay, it's just one guy fighting them, so we're okay. Alright, well... Thank goodness, I wasn't trying to deal with the portal stuff already. Okay, we're starting to just throw him everywhere. But he's gonna enrage in a second if he... Okay, maybe he won't. I don't think he's gonna be able to get back up. Why not? Uh, that does like, does like nothing. Got it! <laughs> Sweet. The animation for it was a little wonky, but hey, it worked, so... We're good. Alright, that just leaves one more Rift Stalker, and then we can go on and head out of here. We're also about to hit level 16, so that's pretty solid, too. In fact, we can probably hit level 16 right now. Yeah. Easy. How about level 17 instead? <laughs> Cool, cool. Oh, and also I did subscribe to their newsletter, so, uh, looks like that just came in. Which is good, though. Um, part damage to enraged. Uh, 90k part damage. Alright, cool. Hoping, uh, we'll get another Rift Stalker soon. Let's also check this. Okay, so we're, like, right on the cusp of getting this. Like, maybe 400 more XP and then we're good on that. Means we're also nearing our first Reforge, which we sh Ooh, event, sweet. We should be able to afford our first Reforge, but I'm not certain on that. I'm stuck on the tree. Yeah, careful about these two trees here. You can get stuck on them. Uh, just saying. It's happened many times before. Yeah, uh, so watch out for those trees. You can easily get stuck on them and can't move after you get stuck on them. But also another tip, if you do get stuck like that and you, you can't move your character at all, go into your menu here, help and support, then help my character is stuck. It'll reset you back to main spawn and you should be able to move again. It's very rare you still can't move after you do that, but um... 95% of the time it, it works. Alright. Kind of wondering what's going to spawn here. Fenor, of course. No. I, I really don't like Fenor at all, man. I will take that to my deathbed, that this behemoth is an awful rework. And I think he should probably be reworked again, because, like, dude, his fight's not fun. Nothing about him is fun. Alright, Fenrir's gone. I swear another one better not spawn, or I I'm gonna be a little tilted. <laughs> well, since it's a Rockfall Scar, and I guess I'll see you guys in about two hours when this thing's dead. <laughs> Alright. The fight actually was shorter than the Fenrir's, I think. And I'm just starting to really realize how good Frostwolf weapons are early game. Son of a- oh, Jesus! <laughs> what is this? 
disappear rock. Go away. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please just go away. Disappear, thank you. Thank you. Go away. Stop that. Disappear. Be gone. I don't like you. Good old. Good, 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 goodbye. Goodbye. Ugh. Anyway, like I was saying before that happened, um, yeah, Frostwolf weapons, I would heavily advise going for them whenever you, uh, start out on Dauntless. Uh, if you're a new player and don't have Frostwolf weapons, go for them immediately. They will honestly make your life a lot easier. Like, I'm weak right now. This build's all over the place. Granted, it's not horrible. But it's kind of all over the place. Yet. Yet. We're still doing really good DPS for our level. So, yeah. It ain't half bad. Good lord, how many things did we actually... Oh, we completed every single bounty that... Oh. Nice. We're level 19 now! <laughs> um, okay, well I guess we can go ahead and get this unlocked then. Nice, dude! Okay, um... We'll do that in a little bit. Uh, I'm still gonna hunt down one more Riftstalker before we leave. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut here and just do a casual grinding while we look for another Riftstalker. And then I will see you guys back in Ramsgate. Alright, took a little bit for another Rift Stalker to spawn, but we're here back in Ramsgate. Uh, first things first. Oh, we can actually also get this. We're like, right on the money for it. Well, I guess we're getting two tiers here. So that means we have Cape Fury. Uh, Hades Reach, one of my favorite islands, even though it hurts my eyes. Razorcliff Isle. Twilight Sanctuary. Paradox Breaks. And Normal Trials. Oh, we're already to Normal Trials, huh? I'm also gonna scroll down here, because, uh, let's see. Ugh, it's expensive. But this is what we wanted. And now we're broke. Owie, we're broke. We're very broke. Okay. So now, we have Hurricane Blades. That's going to be huge for doing damage now. Not huge, but like, it's going to help with the damage. Uh, so, I guess first we're going to go ahead and complete these quests. Or I guess we're going to see what this quest over here is. Oh, Cat also wants to talk to us. Hunt 10 behemoths on Hades Reach, Razor Cliff Isle, Twilight Sanctuary, Paradox Breaks, or the Blazeworks. <laughs> You're funny on the Blazeworks part. Um, oh, this is a repeatable quest? Why don't I have this on my account? Hello? Like, my main account doesn't have this. Not that I need the combat merits, but, like, still... So that's actually a nice way to get some combat merits. Huh. Cool. Uh, Void Strike. Okay, that's completed. That was for the Wrist Stalkers. Um, do 10k wound damage to Shock Behemoths. Oh, I'm gonna slay 10 and Shock Behemoths. Alright, we'll do that eventually. Um, I could do that right now with Chain Blades, but I prefer not to. Because even if some people can make it work, I personally just don't like the uh, wounding on, um, on of, of, uh, Chain Blades. So, I, I'd rather use Warpike for that. Oh, and this, which we get Precision Sights and Extraction Catalyst. That's very good. Um, sweet. We're getting a lot done. And now Moira, I believe, wants to talk to us? No. Oh, is it Gregari? Nope, it's Marcus. I couldn't see through all the pop-ups. 
Um. Slay three co- Bro, I just did that. I literally just- Whatever. Alright. Really enough, though, the thing I'm actually excited for. We should have a few cores here. Yeah, we got quite a few cores because I believe we did three or so island events while we were at Undervault. So let's go ahead and open up these cores, see if we get anything good. Combat merits are always good. Another Adrenaline, Assassin's Frenzy, Cascade, Galvanized. Oh boy, three Medic Cells. Jeez. Uh, overpower, Predator, Sharpen, three Tenacious Cells. A tough cell. And 72 Aether Dust. Honestly, not bad. Not great, not bad. Uh, Aegis, Cascade. Molten's okay. Um, Pulse. Sharpen, Tenacious, Tough, and Zeal. And anything in here. Adrenaline, Molten, Relentless, and semi Dust. Okay. No, not horrible. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the build here and see what needs to be done. Uh, I guess we need to go ahead and get some more Adrenaline going. So Adrenaline is kind of good. In fact, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We don't have a lot of Aether Dust, though, to work with here. I might go through and uh, sell some cells again. But, um... I don't know. We'll see. Yes. Give. Thank. So now... We have four Adrenaline. Um... Galvanize. Uh... Okay, I suddenly now have 366. Um, if it does. Let's look at where is my galvanized stuff at. I got one galvanized, and... Oh, we only have the one galvanized. Dang, okay. Now uh, we still only have one cunning cell, which... Totally not frustrating at all. Um, yeah, that. Oh, pulse. How many pulse cells do we have? We have some predators, but. Oh, is that really all of our pulse? We just have two? Yeah, we only have two pulse cells. Is that in this build? No, it's not, because I have galvanized. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at armor as well. Uh, slay Fenroar in under five minutes? Bro, I literally just did that. Um, okay. Uh, where is the Kokshai chest? I'll probably go for the feet instead, though, right now. Um, Koshai stuff. Hello? Oh. Okay. I'm blind. I found it. I found it. Uh, yeah. We almost have enough thorns to make, uh, some Koshai stuff. Uh, we also need some other things from O2. Yeah, we need one more tail drop and then three more limb drops from Koshai. I won't lie. I don't have, like, a pure direction I'm trying to go with this build at all. Uh, I'm actually looking to try and replace my helmet. Tell you what. Oh, but then we're gonna have an all frost build. I don't know if I want to do that. Granted, I am gonna change the feet as well. Hmm. Because I kind of want the feet to be Koshai, more than likely. Uh, might make the helmet either Frostwolf. 
or Shroud. But the problem is, we need to fight Shroud a lot. We... And you need nine Shroud Tails for the helmet? Yeesh! Guys, I would like to just make a formal apology for using this in all my uh, builds on the channel. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize how much of a grind it is to uh, get this thing. Jeez. I practically have to dedicate a whole, like, day to that. <laughs> oh, if you didn't have Rage Hunter, uh, that'd be good. So, Shroud will be a priority, but for now, I think we will try to do Frostwolf. Um, let me just kind of look. So, we would have Frostwolf here with Scrave. Um, what could I replace the gloves with, though? Because I really want to balance it out elemental-wise, but I'm trying to figure out how to do that. You know, I could actually do it this way. I could just have Ember Main on there. Like, yeehaw, we get 10 max stamina, but it does come with a technique slot, so that's the main thing there. Uh, I believe that, yeah, it comes with Rage. Uh, your evasion. I'm trying to avoid putting any more Frost stuff into the build. Hold on, Hellion has Molten. Hmm. Has Molten and a Power Slot. So that's a possibility. Time Weave is also a possibility. We might go get the schematics for this right now, actually. We might get the schematics just so we can kind of start passively working towards the uh, Time Weave armor, because the Time Weave set is actually a really good set to have. No, we're totally going to do that right now. Alright. We're cooking. We're cooking now. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to meet you guys on Paradox Breaks, so I can actually show you where we get the Time Weave armor, because I know a lot of you probably don't have that, or you don't know where to look. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where to go get that. So, uh, first you gotta go Paradox Breaks. So, uh, I will see you guys there. at Paradox Breaks, right at spawn. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to head up here. There's also a patrol chest up here that is always good to grab, so you might as well grab that if you have the keys for it. We're going to take this vent here. Ooh. There's an event here. Okay, we're actually going to do this event, and then we're going to make our way over to that temple here in a second, so... There we go. 6.7k. I think because we hit the tail. Uh, is that the event or what? What's up? Yep, that was the event. Cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back to spawn so we can have a better... I can show you guys better of how to go get the uh, time wave armor. All right. We're back at spawn. And, like I said earlier, you're going to want to go up these vents here. Grab that patrol chest if you can. Uh, you can do this too, but it's just a glorified patrol chest, so I kind of stay away from them. And then, you're going to want to go all the way over to the temple over here. I have nowhere near enough stamina to make it all the way over here, so we're just going to go to this little spot here. here. Now, you're going to kind of enter the temple. And 
And then, right over here to your left, there will be a pile of armor here. And just like that, schematic, time weave armor. Um, we're also going to do this Elyra, I guess. I don't really want to, but he's here. And there's also another thing that you can grab behind the temple here that I also want to show. So we're going to fight this Elyra and hope for the best. Alright, there we go. Lyra's gone. So we have some Lyra parts. Not that we'll really need them. His weapons aren't horrible. I just don't really use them at all. Alright. We're gonna grab this. And you're gonna go behind the temple now for something else that's back here. It's not exactly a good weapon at all that's back here. I'm not gonna lie. All the exotics, for the most part, aren't that great. But you come here. And... That should unlock the, um... God Hand. Warpike. You do still have to craft it, but, uh... Yeah. This is where the, uh, exotic rumor is for the God Hand. Anyway, I will meet you guys back at Ramsgate. We're going to kind of do some uh, damage control, see what's going on. And then, um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. All right, we are back, and there is a... Oh, it's about trials. So we'll do that next time. Um, and now we're going to come over to Moira. Because now... Where is it? Where is it? There it is. We now have time we've uh, unlocked. Which, we'll probably start trying to grind for that. Soon. Ugh, requires a lot of epic drops though. Time weave armor is a little expensive, but... Also, if you have good luck with your RNG, it won't be that bad. Ooh, the chest piece is honestly really good, too. Like, the whole set is honestly good. You could really wear the whole entire set of armor and be okay, or, unless you go against an Umbral Behemoth, and, um, sorry, bud, you're not gonna have a good time. But yeah, uh, Time Weave Armor. It's really good. Oh, hi, Chrono. Hi, Chrono stuff. How are you? Anyway. Uh, we won't be going for the legs yet, because, uh, we're not exactly making Catalyst builds for a while. We can't afford to make Catalyst builds for a long time. This will be way later in the series, so... There's that. Um... Time Weave Gloves, though. Uh, they're really good. They have Overpower and a Technique slot. Or, sorry, these are called Finesse. I I'm used to the old names, so... Shut up. But yeah, Overpower and a Finesse slot. So... This will more than likely be what we go for, um, to replace the Boreas Gloves. Because we'll still have our Overpower on there, um... And we will lose the Tenacious, which we're trying to steer away from now because we have a shield build. Tough Tenacious was kind of to get us by in the really early stage of the game. But now we're kind of moving towards the later early stage of the game, so... Like, we're still very early game right now. I mean, we're just now about to hit our first Reforge, so we're still very early into this series. But yeah. Next episode, looks like we're going to be Reforging. And then that's going to open a whole door of possibility of stuff we can do. So with that all said, Discord link is down below if you'd like to join our server. We talk about Dauntless, we talk about other things. Also gives you a direct contact to me if you have any questions about the game or any feedback you'd like to give me on the series, which I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, I'm actually genuinely enjoying doing this series. It's already been a lot of fun. It actually has made me enjoy Dauntless again. And yeah, it, it's been very fun, so I hope you guys are actually enjoying this as much as I am. But yeah, link for the Discord server is down below if you'd like to join. And as always, much love and take care.